My name is Ajala Azu. I am in second form. I'm, I am 14 years old. I come from the beautiful village of Georgetown. What, what, tell me a little bit about Georgetown. Well, Georgetown is a small village. Um, everyone united one another. We no fighting everyone. It's just peace in Georgetown. Nice village. Yes. What, why are you here at this camp? Well, I am here at this camp because I, I love football and I love, I love travel, I love to travel, I enjoy traveling. What's different about what happens here and in, than in other places? Here in? The camp. camp. Well, I think the camp is interesting because it teaches teenagers how to have high self-esteem and to have, have a good future. And then to continue going to school and have a good job and being like the other guys and other teenagers on the street I think it will be good if they just go to school and have a job. Well, when I grew up I want to be a member of the Belize National Coast Guard because I love to serve my country. When I am older I want to join the Belize National Coast Guard. Because my father is a police, I have a father high in police and brother and one brother in police and another in Coast Guard, so I would like to join the Belize National Coast Guard. Uh, my name is Anivan Anjos, I'm from Mahogany Heights. I attend Baptist High School, I'm in third form. And while on fire, without the aim, with we, the young youths, then I have no, no future at all. We. So I ask if the um, government could drop the school fees, I told we didn't have no future. Let me say to you guys that people come from other countries and they make a living better than we do in our own country. Yes, sir. Why? I don't know why. Okay, I'll suggest to you why. I'll suggest to you that we get an education that tells us to get a good job. But the persons who come here uses the natural resources that we have to earn a living for themselves and are better skilled at agriculture. Because we always hear a saying, we say, money don't grow on trees. Would you agree that we've heard that? Yes. But money do grow on trees. Mango, orange, citrus, <laughs> grow on trees. But we are not oriented to use agriculture to help ourselves. You live in Georgeville? You have a farm? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. My grandfather has a farm. You see what you said? That's two generations removed from you. Your father and now you. That is not doing agriculture. Your grandfather did agriculture. But you are going to school to get a good job. When in fact, independence and self-reliance is in agriculture. So agriculture should be a basic foundation in our whole education system, but it is not at this time. What, what is the difference between what you do in school and what you're doing here in the camp? Well, there at school, they teach about one box, but yeah, they um, try to avoid conflict. And they teach about conflict resolution yeah. and self-esteem development yes. and stuff like that. So, what, how, what do you think about that? What do you think about that? Well, that's yeah, so why they tell how to solve the problem. With, before you have to go to jail, go spend time or something like that. Okay. That's very good, man. Uh, today, man, you had a little experience. <laughs> and, uh, and I want to thank you for, for being responsible. So, again, I shake your hand and I truly want to thank you.